Monty Williams is in there at the back. In comes the corner now, headed away, but only as far as the, the edge of the area. It's volleyed forward, and Owen Evans looks to close down on the far side, but slips over, and it's fired into this side netting by Declan Weeks, midway inside the Chester half. And a good turn there by Fremantle, who shoots it outside the foot, and it's over the bar, but uh, good effort that from Another me. throw. 26 minutes gone, nil-nil. But uh, Lissimore gets the... Uh, Blocks an intended pass there, but shot comes in from distance, swirling from uh, Ewan Murray. Five players lined up at the edge of the box. Knight Percival, I can see there, just uh, jostling. And it comes good looking ball, which the, the keeper doesn't deal with at all. Got, got a fist onto it. But uh, I think the referee might have said he was uh, impeded there because rather than the corner... Ethan, Ethan Fremantle with Harry's in a winning position. I'll just hang off here as Ethan Fremantle tangles and tries to win the ball. Um, yeah, there's one in the high end of the pitch that he absolutely flew into, got nothing of, and was lucky to escape with the yellow. Yeah. Uh, Harry's defending at the moment. I think there's been a goal at Chorley we can tell you about in a, in a, in a moment. In fact, there's been two goals in uh, quick succession. I'll break off as uh, the ball's played into the uh, Harriers area. Now Weeks just outside, the box lays it forward, and it's been slotted in from the right-hand side of the box. Harriers gave it away, and Adam Thomas it was that's got on the end of it. Weeks just a bit of composure at, outside the box, threaded it to the right-hand side, and Adam Evans, Adam Thomas, I should say, slid it across the face of goal. Across. So burn. Takes it to the near post, headed away. Richards can't get anything onto it, and it'll drop for Lissimore, but something's going on in the area here. The referee's gone to his book, and it's a red card. And I think it's Nat Knight, Nat Knight Percival. Again, so that's his second sending off. So how would they uh, line up here? It looks like they'll go to a back four. The break-off as uh, they're on the attack at the moment through... Hemmings, who finds the overlapping Richards. Good ball in from him. The goalkeeper has missed. Lissimore shoots. And it's been deflected wide. He, he felt he had to score there from inside the six-yard box to the right of the goal. He got the call and then spun away and uh, turned away from goal. Now he finds Richards. Can he get to the byline? So a couple of decent crosses from him. And there's another one. Brilliant save from the goalkeeper from a Hemmings header. Cross comes in again and off the line. And two really good efforts for Harriers there. And again, being created by good cross from Caleb Richards. Excellent header from Hemmings that was saved. And then the clearance off the line. So another corner which we've taken on this really was uh, an excellent directed header and got decent power on it uh, used the neck muscles there did uh, Ashley Hemmings in comes the corner headed on and behind by a, a defender and he will clear as we approach the halfway point of the second half headed forward by McNally on the uh, long clearance and burn just losing out and Harry is being forced backwards for a moment and they've got some serious defending now because the ball's on the left hand side of the area opportunity for the good shot and it's been put behind from a really promising situation the crowd on this side thought that uh, or just wait for the remaining seven minutes plus stoppage time the goal kick taken by Tom Palmer looking for the head of Morgan Smith who does uh, get, get it get something onto it and head it forward but Again, can't find that red shirt because he's got no support around him. And here's the home side on the attack again. And it's a brilliant save by Palmer. And uh, there's an appeal for a penalty, but it was good, solid defending by Morrison. That was a great run down the uh, left-hand side. The cross came in, and I think it took a deflection. And as Hemmings looks to make something happen up front, but uh, I think he, he looks to me as though he's tiring a bit, Ashley Hemmings. He was uh, full of energy in the first half, but... Certainly in, in this uh, second half, and this could be the, what uh, to finish it here, and it does. It's Charlie Caton as Harry has pressed forward. They got caught at the back, a long ball forward, and it was Charlie Caton got ahead of the central defenders. It's easier said than done, and a, a sign of the, the confidence being low. But Chester with an op op opportunity to make it three there, but the shot 
from the substitute. Dudley was comfortably saved and the referee blows the final whistle. And it's another defeat and another game without a goal for Harriers.